Oh, Matty, um, I'm sure at the start of playing with half a dozen players out, you'd have been happy with nil nil. Are you still happy with the nil nil on that one? Yeah, it's um, we're a bit backs against the wall. I think uh, it's uh, probably an understatement with you know, unfortunately injuries, uh, a COVID crop up in the morning as well. So. Um, yeah, we've had to shuffle it a little bit, um, but yeah, it makes it difficult, doesn't it, in terms of uh, having options. But uh, credit to the lads and credit to the squad, you know, people dig in when and people get opportunities to play and, uh, and perform. And another setback after about a quarter of an hour with uh, Michael Tate going off injured. What was the story behind that? Yeah, hamstring. Um, obviously, he'd be assessed uh, just to see how bad it is, but um, yeah, he just he, he could feel his hammy um, tightening. so. Hopefully it's not too bad, but it's bad enough for him not to continue. Yeah, first uh, first half was a pretty much a non-event for about half an hour or so, yeah. wasn't it? You know, it wasn't much happening at either end. Wind a big factor in that again. But I yeah. thought Whitby possibly had the better of the play, didn't they? Even though they were against the wind. Yeah, I thought they were more physical than ourselves. I thought. Um, as I said to the lads, I think it took us about 25 minutes to start competing. Um, so. If you're not competing, it, the game becomes difficult, and uh, they definitely had the, the the fair share with the first half. Um, yes, conditions don't help, but we started to you know come into the game more and more as the as the half went on, and um, yeah, we went out the races, in my opinion, to what the level should be. But you know that attitude to to not give anything away was, was excellent. And uh, the best chance of the half probably fell to Whitby just on half time, but uh, Luke Pilling once again. Yeah. One of those saves that we're now becoming accustomed to, aren't we? Yeah, I'm kind of not surprised because of the, as I said, the, the quality of the goalkeeper, he's, he's excellent. Um, but yeah, when he did hit it, I was heart in mouth thinking, oh no, goal. But fantastic save, you know, agility that he's got. Keeps us in the game um, and, you know, that's what he's there for. So, uh, no, fantastic. The second half was much better. It was, yeah, yeah. I thought we had more composure about ourselves. I thought um, we were a lot calmer in the opposition's half. Uh, so I thought our link play was really good, especially the first 20, 25 minutes. I thought we were on top and, you know, we were playing the conditions really well. Um, but as I say, you know, it, it, it is moments, isn't it? it? It's just that quality in the final third to, to hit the target, make the keeper work. I'm just not quite doing that at this moment in time. But well, we did yeah. have a couple of good chances. I think Ethan Stewart had a couple, certainly one was cleared off the line, wasn't yeah. it? The back, back post header. And, uh, yeah. You know, a couple of other shots coming in. Uh, yeah. Burnsy had one that was blocked and was yeah. going towards the top yeah. corner. You know, so it is one of those things that you come up against these strong defences and mm -hmm. it's yeah. hard to score. Yeah, we, so we, we create chances. Um, you know, we do get opportunities. I'd be more worried, as I said before, that if we weren't creating opportunities, weren't creating chances, then you know that is something to be concerned about. But we are, and it's just. Yeah, we just can't quite get it over the line, but uh, yeah, we, we, we keep knocking on the door, and if we continue to do that, then it's going to fall for us. Uh, a word for Trey, um, he's sort of not really been a, a sort of a, a first choice player in no. during his short time with the club, but he's, he's he's had his chance today and won the sponsors' man of the match, and I thought he was, you know, he, he did work hard and he showed us some of the qualities that you've obviously seen in bringing him into the club. Yeah, he's got great pace, good energy. Uh, he actually leaps really well as well. I thought his, his heading was excellent as well. This is the opportunity, isn't it? You know, he came in, uh, didn't quite start very well in terms of, um, you know, he came in with the hamstring when he got the opportunity, he got himself sent off. Um, and then we felt that, obviously, when he had his opportunity to, to play in a cup game, he had his hamstring injury again. So he's had a bit of a stop start with ourselves. Went away on loan just to have a, a game or two uh, with Longridge, but he's come back sitting and waiting for his opportunity. Oh, he took it today. Uh, and another good performance of, of Kane. And, you know, he, he, he's, he's sort of really uh, putting himself about a bit. Holds the ball well, doesn't he? He wins that ball against the uh, against his marker quite well. Yeah, he's been he's been fantastic since he's come in. Um, you know, I think he's taken the the baton off of Jake, and he's continued that that form in terms of being a focal point for ourselves. Tireless work it, you know, work ethic. Um, he, he, yeah, he's just done everything, but the giving him that opportunity to score. But of all the centre centre forwards that we've we've bought in over the time, he's yeah. probably the best of the yeah. the lot. That yeah. I, you know, in my view, anyway. So. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 hundred percent. You know, he's uh, as I said, he's took the baton off of Jay. He's he's uh, shown good quality, um, good hold up play, great energy. Um, we've just got to find ways now to for him to get opportunities to score. Another home game coming up on uh, Tuesday night. Uh, Nick Lover have had a day off today. I think it was. Uh, 
a waterlogged pitch up in the north okay, west. Right. There's been a few games off right. there, so uh, <coughs> they'll be fresh, uh, but another tough one for us here. Yeah, there, again, we say it every week, isn't it? Every game's a tough game. Every game, you know, gives us different problems, different um, problems to solve. But yeah, we've got to dust ourselves down and count bodies and, uh, and see where we are for Tuesday. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Thank you.